Well, it looks like we might have some potentially, I mean, it's happy and sad news at the same time. It sounds like Masahiro Sakurai, the creator of Kirby's you know, Smash series, obviously he's well known for the Smash series more than anything. Uh, you know, he's wrapping up the final two DLC characters in Fighter Pass 2 for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. And it looks like he is considering early retirement. Now, look, we all know the story of Masahiro Sakurai, and if you aren't aware, uh, Masahiro Sakurai is a workaholic, right? His work is his passion, and he has worked himself to the brink of having severe medical compl complications, sometimes with his hands and his wrists and other things. Uh, last year, he ran into some medical issues due to his long hours of work, and obviously, some people can think that sets a bad precedent for overworking yourself. We actually talked about this yesterday on live stream about how while it might set, set a bad precedent for some people, obviously, when we talk about crunch and all of that, it's also one of those, the very best to ever do it are workaholics. That's how it works. Their work is their passion, and they put all their time and investment into it, um, sacrificing other things in their life, sometimes their health, family, whatever. It's not always right, but that is just the reality of being this successful. But he did um, a, 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 we have a full translation here um, from uh, a recent article in Famitsu. He's been doing Famitsu columns uh, almost weekly since 2003. Uh, and one, uh, those columns are ending. And two, he's actually thinking about calling it quits early. Now, he's not saying he is retiring for sure once he's done with Super Smash Bros. But it doesn't sound like he's planning to stick around much longer. Here is the full um, column update. And this was uh, on Nintendo Life. And it was translated by uh, at Cody Nicola and at Stefans. Um, it says, uh, the, the summary of Sakurai's own words, uh, Cody uh, Nuckola writes, he was able to stop working long enough to let his thoughts percolate in his time off. He doesn't want to keep working forever after he's older. He says that honestly, if he had a little more free time, he thinks his days would be more fun. He likes the idea of an early retirement. Then at uh, Sephazon adds, Sakurai says that while the experience people create can last forever, Personal work will always come to an end someday. As long as he works, he will do his best to entertain people. He says that society is built upon such experiences, regardless of the medium and genre. As long as he can continue to create new experiences, he will. Even if he's busy, he believes it's best to push on and do as much as you can. He does, however, express doubt whether this feeling is best suited for the times. Uh, and then speaking about his Famitsu col column, Sakurai reportedly said, He'll continue for just a little bit longer. Uh, later on, uh, we learned that he's actually going to be ending his Famitsu column at some point this year at the conclusion of the two uh, current Smash Bros. characters coming out, which apparently are supposed to come up for the end of this year, and then he will be done with his Famitsu column. Now, it's an interesting thing to think about because Sakurai is actually just 50 years old. He does turn 51 on August 3rd later this year. Uh, so he is rather young in the development community to consider retirement, but obviously we know he's had a number of health problems, and it sounds like he feels if he could just step away from work, he'd actually enjoy life a bit more. And that isn't to say he doesn't enjoy work. Clearly, the work he does on video games, the new experiences he creates, are passion-built and extremely um, gratifying for him. He wouldn't keep working himself to the point of health issues if he didn't enjoy it. Uh, but at the same point, it's one of those situations where, you know what, if he could step away from game development, step away from his career, and just retire early, he could go and enjoy other aspects of the world without obviously further risking his health, and obviously uh, without having to worry about the pressure that fans put on him. Think about how much the community has been pressuring Sakurai for add this character, add that character, make a new Kid Icarus game, come back and handle the Kirby series again, make a new IP, do this, do that, do this. We're constantly making demands of not just Sakurai, but all these video game developers. And Sakurai, as we know, has had health issues because of how hard he works on his projects. And now he doesn't say he's retiring when he's done with Smash Bros, but he does say, hey, I'm going to be doing it for at least a little bit longer, uh, which infers that he probably has at least one more game uh, coming up for him. You know, what, whether it's a, you know, the Kid Icarus, whether he wants to get back involved with the Kirby series, or maybe he wants to leave the world with one last brand new IP. Uh, I don't know what it's going to be. Maybe, it, maybe it's another Smash game. I, I kind of hope it's not, uh, because if it's another Smash game, 
Uh, you know, that game's not going to come out for another like five years, six years. So he's going to be doing that. He's going to be doing updates, a new character adds to that into his 60s, into his mid 60s. And at that point, I, I just don't think that we should be expecting Sakurai to put in that kind of work anymore. And he has been trying to um, diverge some of the work he currently does in Ultimate to more people in comparison to the past. It kind of, I think kind of in preparation to move away from the series. So I, I got to say that it is kind of sad to think that he's only 50 years old and by the time he's 60, you know, I'd probably say sometime in the next decade, he's going to be retiring. You, you think about other people like Eiji Anomu, you think about Shigeru Miyamoto, all these other guys that aren't retired and are still going at advanced ages. Master Hero Sakurai is choosing to not do that. He wants to enjoy life. So to that, I say, you know what, man? You deserve it. You deserve to step away from game development and do something special with your time. So my thoughts are retire, man. Retire when you want to retire. I'm sure you have made plenty of money from Nintendo over the years. I would like to see one more project from you, of course, a passion project, maybe an idea you've had percolating for a number of years that you haven't been able to work on because of Smash. So I would like to see one last hurrah, but not at the expense of your health. So retire when you're ready. Uh, I think him stepping away from Famitsu is just his first step towards retirement and then he'll have probably have one last hurrah game which you know ultimate would feel like a, a nice last hurrah but you know what sakurai if any game developers earn the right to retire before they're 60 it's you uh so please take care of yourself take care of your family and enjoy the rest of your life whenever you do step away it is sad we're always going to worry about the future of smash bros without you we're always going to wonder can kick kid icarus even come back if, if sakurai is not involved because you know he was the reason uprising happened you know is kirby ever going to reach its former glory if sakurai never gets back involved sakurai is one of the greatest video game developers of all time uh, and he will be missed when he retires but I'd rather he retire than hold on too long and have severe long-term health complications like keeps happening the more and more he's game developed. We, we already lost Satura Iwata too soon, right? We lost him to colon cancer and that sucks and it's a really tough thing for us to swallow to this day because he was so young as a CEO when that happened. But maybe, you know, maybe things would have been caught sooner if he wasn't so busy working. Maybe it would have been caught in time potentially to, you know, maybe do something about it before it became too late. We won't know, obviously, that's playing the what-if game, but same thing here for Sakurai. I'd rather see him walk away while he still has some youth than hold on dearly, uh, pray, you know, hoping that he can continue to keep his health and work longer and longer and for another decade, another decade. And then before you know it, he's 70, 80 years old, and there's not many years left left to have fun and enjoy the world. He's still young enough where he can go have fun and enjoy the world. And even if he steps away in retirement, Game developers always seem to get this itch and come back. So he still might come back and make a game at some point. But, you know, we've been begging Sakurai to take a break for years. Uh, and if that break is retirement, I'm good with that. And I hope you guys are good with that, too. I think we can all agree he's earned it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Be sure to turn into our podcast tonight at 8 p.m. Uh, if you catch it uh, later, that's fine. Uh, we will be live streaming. We have Rule of Two review on. It's going to be about a 90-minute podcast. Hope to see you guys all there. And I'll catch you in the next video.